So, Meghan McCain wants to sue The View? Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Meghan McCain, the daughter of John Bum 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 Aran McCain, saying that she wants to sue The View, and to be more exact, she wants to sue one of her former co-hosts because they made a comparison between her and Hunter Biden. Now, this is not surprising. The View is a terrible show. A bunch of 50-year-old mean girls on there attacking anybody. And Anna Navarro is one of the chief violators. Now, I don't know why people still want to call her a Republican conservative. She is not. Meghan McCain, barely. Anna Navarro is the total polar opposite of anything conservative, of anything Republican, she is a stone cold, stomp down liberal, period, point blank. Now, we have a lot to get into, actually. Um, a little bit of a refresher, in case you don't recall how Meghan McCain looks. That's her right there. Back during her view days, she's not been on the show in quite a while, but they still talk about her every now and again. As I said, you got a bunch of middle-aged and above mean girls on there just saying negative things, nasty things, unnecessarily. You see, it's one thing to have a political commentary, but it's something else to just attack people for no reason, all right? It's just really mean. It's just unnecessary, but that's what they do. So I can't say I 100% feel bad for Meghan McCain, but at the same time, I believe she has a point, and she has a reason to be upset. Now, let's go ahead and get into the actual comments that were made. If you want to see this in full, I will link to it in the box. I might not be able to play the entire video along with the audio because it is the view and you know how they operate. But you see what the headline says, Meghan McCain threatens lawsuit after being compared to Hunter Biden. And we're going to go ahead and check it out right here. Did Hunter Biden influence pedal on his last name? Yes, he did. So did half of Washington. People sitting at this table did it. Now, let's pause right here. Okay. She's downplaying what Hunter Biden did. <laughs> and we're going to get into what exactly Hunter Biden did and or is being accused of. All right. But she's calling it influence peddling. And she says people that have been at this table, they've done it as well. And they're going to ask her, well, what do you mean? Are you talking about me? You're going to see her response. Did Joe, uh, did Hunter Biden, <laughs> did Hunter Biden. Uh... So now you got people making these faces. You got Sonny. Asuncion hosting Whoopi Goldberg and all the rest of them. She's like, who, me? Am I the one that's influence peddling on my name? Who are you talking about? You see, this right here, this, this is the mean girl activity. They know exactly who she's talking about. They know, but they want her to say it, to just put her name out there or to make it clear that it's not them. These people are smart, but at the same time, they make really bad decisions. Let's keep on going. Did Hunter Biden Wait, cheat like, on his taxes? Yes, he did. Who so have actually, at this table? who at this table peddled on their lap? I did. I'm not talking about currently. Oh. 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 See, now, Sonny knew what she was talking about, but she just wanted her to really put it out there and to clarify for the audience that, oh, it's not me. You're talking about the other person. You're talking about the girl that we don't like. That's, that's what's going on. Oh. Okay. We just wanted to clear our names. Okay. <laughs> So you heard what she said. She was like, well, it's not anybody at the table. It's other people. Okay. She's talking about Megan and that is what's going on. Now, <laughs> this is crazy for a couple of reasons. The main thing is they're trying to downplay what Hunter Biden is being accused of influence peddling, not paying the taxes. Is that what it is? Talking about some who didn't pay their taxes. Well, I pay my taxes. I pay over and above what I got to pay on my tax just to make sure that I comply and then I try to get the money back on my refund at the end of the year, okay? I overpay quarterly and try to get it back. I'm not just going to skip and refuse to pay taxes and then take the money that I should have been spending on taxes and go buy cocaine and other kind of stuff, okay? Later in the night, which is what Hunter Biden is being accused of doing. No, everyone does not do that, Miss Anna Navarro. Also, you got gun charges, okay? I don't have illegal weapons. I don't smoke crack and handle a firearm. I did not lie on the background check, okay? I've never in my life used any kind of hard drugs, okay? 
Most I've ever done is have a drink of alcohol. That's it. I don't even smoke cigarettes. I'm not a crackhead, and not everyone is a crackhead. So we got to just be serious. And then influence peddling. 10 for the big guy. Is that considered influence peddling? When you go to Ukraine and you become part of Burisma Holdings, the energy company, and you're getting paid $50,000 a month right around between 50 and $80,000 a month. And your dad goes to Ukraine and threatens to withhold a billion dollars from Ukraine. If they don't fire the investigator, prosecutor or whatever, who's looking into Burisma Holdings where your son works and he got the job after he had been discharged from the military because he was a crackhead. I mean, is that influence peddling or is it a little bit more than that? Let's not downplay what Hunter Biden did. So when you want to compare Meghan McCain, although they didn't say her name, but when you're making it pretty clear, oh, well, it's nobody that's here right now. It's somebody else. And you are known as the daughter of a former vice president, John McCain, bomb, 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 Iran. They could put two and two together and it's unfair. I've never heard about Meghan McCain doing anything like what Hunter Biden has done. Maybe somebody could say that she has a career in television and whatnot because of her father. Maybe they could say that and that's fine, but that's a far cry from smoking crack and having the pistol lying on the background check, buying women of the night, doing all kind of illegal stuff allegedly and not going to the penitentiary for it. There's a big gap in between things that somebody has done and things that someone has been accused of. So now nah, Megan McCain has the right to be upset. I would be too. And the lawsuit, I'm not, I'm not really sure to go anywhere. You're not going to be able to sue the view. You could sue maybe Anna Navarro, but you're going to have a hard time being able to, you know, because she didn't say your name. And these people are, are a little bit smart. They're a little bit crafty. They understand they can't just outright say that Megan McCain is the same thing as Hunter Biden. But in their attempt to downplay what Hunter did, they want to elevate what they think Megan McCain has done, which is really nothing from what I've heard. All that they can say as I close is that she may have gotten her position in media because of her father. But that, again, is not the same thing as alleged crimes of tax evasion and having a gun and drugs and everything else. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what said you? What's your take on the whole situation? Do you think Anna Navarro went way too far trying to compare Meghan McCain to Hunter Biden? Do you think Meghan McCain has a lawsuit, a legitimate claim? a thing that would be able to go to court and get resolved and she gets paid some kind of penalty against Anna Navarro or The View as a whole. Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys probably know where I'm at. I'm not quite sure there's enough here for an actual claim, but she's correct to be upset at Anna Navarro and the rest of The View for trying to insinuate that she is some kind of way anywhere the same Thing anywhere in the same category as a Hunter Biden. All right. Look, if you say I use my name to get to a certain place in my career, okay, cool. But it's not the same thing as being able to smoke crack with a pistol, lie on a background check, and do all kind of corrupt deals overseas and get away with it. <laughs> that's not that's not the same thing. And to put me in that category is really ridiculous. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.